really good. Uh, so uh, the next uh, the next lecture will be by Rahman Mizuk on uh, quark volume experimental field, please. Okay, uh, hello. Uh, I would like to talk about uh, quark volume. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, I will talk about quarkonium at uh, B factories. So uh, B factories observe CP violation in BD case, and actually they uh, confirmed uh, the Kobayashi Moscow mechanism and uh, Kobayashi and Moscow got Nobel Prize in 2008. This was discussed by, by Alice Bonner uh, in one of the previous uh, lectures. And there are other highlights uh, like uh, measurements of many rare uh, BBKs or observation of V0 oscillations. Uh, but uh, all these uh, results were somehow expected. So this was not, uh, not this was nothing surprising here at this point. What was really unexpected is uh, was the observation of many new uh, hadrons with properties with uh, unexpected uh, properties. So uh, in this lecture, I will uh, try to make an experimental review uh, of this uh, of this new states and of Quarkonium in general. And there will be two more lectures uh, by Mikhail Voloshin, and he will talk about the series. Uh, actually, the, uh, this is the well recitation uh, count, and uh, the paper with observation of <coughs> new states. Uh, now here's uh, uh, it now is the winner and it means over CP violation paper and over the rare case paper where the searches for new physics are made. So this is quite an uh, active uh, field. Uh, yes, and uh, this is observation, first observation of metal already nine years ago. So uh, we uh, study Okay, so I will first talk about conventional channel module, then about this X3872, which is a winner of well citations, and uh, basically two more families of uh, new states. So, uh, when we talk about spectroscopy, we want to learn uh, the strong interactions at low energy. And uh, carbonium, heavy carbonium has a very special place in spectroscopy. And this is clear from uh, this table, in particular from the last column, where the velocity of uh, particles uh, is uh, given. So for uh, light uh, hadrons, the velocity is close to 1. These are relativistic systems. For heavy quarkonia, the velocity is already rather small, and we can apply uh, non-relativistic approximation. Uh, in non-relativistic approximation, we have only two bodies. So the problem is two-body problem. Uh, in relativistic case, we have C-quarks, gluons, so we have very complicated system. So because uh, we can apply this two-body approximation, uh, heavy carbonium is called uh, sometimes hydrogen atom of PCD. Uh, and uh, also, uh, this form gives the width of the states. Uh, so heavy carbonium is usually quite narrow. And this is very useful both from experimental and from theoretical point of view. Uh, and there are quite many states. So let's uh, try to look at uh, what kind of states are in there. Uh, so the levels are classified according to spin total spin of two quarks, or quark and anti quark, uh, it can take zero or one, and uh, orbital angular momentum, and radial quantum uh, number. The parity, uh, this is the formula for the parity, and uh, also this system is uh, ideal state of uh, charge conjugation, so this is the formula for uh, C parity, and uh, you can obtain this formula uh, using a generalized power principle. So now, whatever uh, combination of these numbers you take, you will get some level. And let's just try to uh, play with these uh, levels. So uh, let's take uh, the uh, lowest ground state and equal to zero, spin equal to zero. Uh, so we can uh, find uh, spin 
the separity, and uh, so this is zero mi minus plus, usually we use this notation. And the names of the states are eta c, eta c 1s, eta c 2s. Uh, 2s is just first uh, radial excitation. So this is uh, radi radial excitation with the same uh, quantum uh, numbers. And basically, I put uh, here the states which are known uh, experimentally. Okay, sometimes uh, one S can be omitted, so the state called just at a C. And uh, okay, uh, we can uh, increase uh, the spin by one, and uh, then the quantum numbers uh, are one minus minus, and we have the whole bunch of uh, states. And uh, the lower state is well known uh, GSI, and there are also uh, radial excitations, uh, the side states, uh, radial excitations. Now, uh, finally, we increase L, uh, but S is equal to zero. The state is called HC, one plus minus. And uh, now uh, we uh, put L equal to one, S equal to one, and we have the whole uh, triplet of states and they are called uh, chi c, chi c 0, 1, and 2, according to the uh, total uh, angular momentum. And uh, also uh, there is one known uh, state uh, radial excitation. Uh, finally, uh, we can go to L equal 2. And uh, surprisingly, uh, some of the states with L equal 2 uh, have the same quantum numbers, uh, 1, minus, minus. So they get uh, in the same uh, column in our scheme. Uh, the, well, these quantum numbers, JPC, are actually measured uh, experimentally, and these are conserved uh, quantum numbers. Uh, to the contrary, uh, S and L are not uh, separately conserved. Uh, so the determination of S and L is somehow model dependent, and uh, moreover, uh, physical uh, states uh, can uh, be uh, mixtures of uh, uh, different states with SLL. So here I use uh, spectroscopic uh, notation. Uh, so well, like this, uh, L is, uh, we do not put number for L, but use uh, letters S, P, and uh, D. Okay, and the uh, important uh, line in this uh, scheme is uh, the two masses of D mesons because, uh, so this is the threshold of open uh, charm and all the states about this uh, threshold will decay to a DD bar, to open uh, charm uh, and uh, uh, so they are relatively broad and the states uh, below the open flame threshold are relatively uh, narrow. Uh, but ammonium levels look uh, very uh, similar. Uh, notice the change in the notation instead of psi we have uh, y and also in the name uh, instead of eta c we have eta b so subscript c is changed to b uh, otherwise the scheme uh, looks uh, exactly the same. Uh, one difference is that uh, the open flavor threshold uh, is uh, much uh, higher. So in case of uh, Charmonium, uh, it was uh, somewhere uh, in uh, this uh, region, and this is because the uh, higher mass of big clock, the system, sits deeper inside the um, potential. So the uh, board radius of, uh, is inversely proportional to mass, so the radius of the system is smaller, it is deeper inside uh, the potential. Okay, uh, so uh, GSI was observed simultaneously by two groups, uh, by uh, King group and the Richter group. Uh, this, uh, here the extracted proton beam was used with a uh, fixed target experiment, two uh, arms, and uh, so this is the uh, reaction, uh, and uh, this is the peak of GSI in the invariant lines of E plus E minus. Uh, in this case, uh, this uh, it was E minus annihilations, and this is the cross section as a function of uh, energy measured using first 4p detector, Mark 1. And uh, notice logarithmic scale, so these uh, peaks are quite big. 
Uh, uh, this uh, observation uh, was in November of 1974, and uh, uh, this moment is uh, often called revolution. Uh, why? Uh, actually, uh, this state was found to be extremely narrow. Uh, the list was below one maybe actually a few tenths of key. And uh, uh, actually, the, yes, and it was very heavy. Actually, the larger mass of the state, the more open uh, channels are available, so the larger the width of the state. In this case, the mass is very high, the width is narrow. So the, it was immediately realized that this is something new, so this was observation of the fourth clock. And uh, before this moment, uh, the clocks were considered kind of mathematical trick useful to uh, somehow uh, to, okay, to memorize the hadrons, to, to classify the hadrons. And after this moment, uh, works were recognized, recognized as uh, fundamental particles, and in this sense, uh, this is the beginning of uh, actual modern physics. And this is uh, just one uh, uh, article uh, from the time. Uh, actually, uh, different uh, Chernomium uh, levels show uh, hierarchy in masses. So GSI and psi 2 are quite narrow. Uh, this is the list, I think, in KV. Oh, no, in any of these, uh, right, uh, there are, uh, okay, there are spaces uh, of larger width. So, uh, uh, the dominant uh, decay channel for GSI and psi 2 is uh, annihilation into three uh, gluons. Uh, actually, C parity is negative for the state, so it cannot annihilate to two gluons. And uh, alpha S is actually small uh, at, uh, because the uh, size of the states is small. Uh, so the additional, so the, this uh, high order process is suppressed, and actually it's so much suppressed that uh, electromagnetic process uh, is able to is competitive. So about one third of uh, total bits uh, goes through electromagnetic uh, process. Uh, these states can decay through two layers because they have positive separity. And finally, uh, these states are about over the threshold, but uh, this one is close to the threshold, so the space is still small, it is relatively narrow, and this one is already quite high above, and so the uh, phase space is big, and uh, uh, okay, it can uh, decay from uh, the many uh, states. Uh, this is just another picture of the uh, Chernobyl uh, levels. And observed levels are shown with uh, thick uh, lines. So you can notice that uh, the largest number uh, of observed states correspond to quantum numbers 1 minus minus. Uh, why it is so? Why, you, uh, why it happens? Why just 1 minus minus has so many excited states, not, not uh, other quantum numbers? Question to you. Yes. <laughs> if you haven't realized. Why? So yeah. I think the question. Yeah, yeah, there, there is a. Yeah, is just easier to see the decays. Why? Uh, to see the decays. Why? So, uh, because uh, the, uh, there are, for example, uh, not so much patterns and uh, in, uh, in the process. Okay, major reason is actually that uh, these are quantum numbers of the photon, and uh, such states can be produced in e plus e minus annihilations. So you just have to measure the dependence of the cross section on the energy, and you will see these states as uh, peaks in this cross section. So until you cross the uh, open flavor threshold somewhere here, the peaks are very narrow, and then they become broader uh, because, okay, as we discussed. Uh, now, uh, these uh, states are used also as a source uh, to produce uh, KIC1 states, 
actually these uh, transitions, uh, radiative transitions, correspond to uh, long uh, electric dipole transitions. So they are quite uh, uh, okay. The rate is quite high, and actually in these transitions, uh, KC states were observed. Actually, also further transitions from KC1 to JSI are also of electric dipole type, so they are also quite uh, probable. And uh, finally, uh, for the transitions from psi to S to eta C ground state, it's a uh, magnetic transition, so it's uh, actually, uh, it took more time to find this uh, eta C state. And actually, what was measured is just the energy spectrum of all photons in the event. You see these peaks, you see this scheme, and each transition is number, so you can find the peak corresponding to every transition. So from the positions of the peak, uh, you can infer the masses. And basically, this is the detector which was used for such measurements. This is a ball of, uh, of uh, crystals to measure the photon energy with very simple tracking uh, system uh, inside. Uh, okay, this is basically uh, all the germanium uh, levels which were known before uh, the factory started to operate and actually for two decades before the factories no new germanium levels were uh, observed. The situation is, botulonium is actually completely the same. There are quite many one minus minus states observed at the plus and minus colliders uh, and uh, there are also high B states observed through radiative transitions from, from uh, from uh, epsilon states. Actually, the epsilon states were observed four years after GSI uh, in uh, proton and nucleus collisions at uh, Carmilla. Uh, again, the quite for some time before uh, B-factory discoveries, there were uh, no new results in this field. So uh, B-factories refer to general purpose detectors working at uh, around epsilon 4s. There was one at KK, uh, and another one at uh, SLAC, and the data taking period was actually uh, last uh, decade. Uh, at uh, B factories, there are more, actually, B factories introduced more processes where uh, charmonium can be produced. In particular, in uh, B case, uh, this is a diagram. There are no small, no, there is no suppression, uh, CKM suppression. Actually, B to C is the most uh, probable transition. Also, this vector, uh, vertex is uh, C to S. And uh, so you have B with uh, Kion and uh, Chamuyu. Uh, this uh, internal emission is only, uh, there is only uh, color suppression of about factor of 10. Uh, because uh, the color of this uh, player should match the color of the spectator uh, pole. So at the energy level, you lose spectrum of uh, 3. So in uh, this decay, eta C2S was observed. This process is called uh, two photon fusion. Uh, so uh, photons are emitted from electron and positron, they then uh, collide. And uh, here, uh, different particles can be produced, so KSC2 to P was produced uh, here, and also there are other processes, uh, okay, uh, very interesting process when uh, only two charmonia in the event are produced without any other additional particles, so you have P plus and minus uh, annihilation and then only two charmonia in the event. This is initial state condition, uh, I will uh, mention it again later. Uh, just for completeness, uh, Clear C observed the last missing state uh, below open foil threshold, HC, using by zero transitions from, uh, from psi to S. So uh, actually Clear C is a C factory, uh, new generation C factory, and so uh, one needed, it was quite, uh, one needed quite high statistics to produce uh, such a state. Okay. So we have quite a lot of data and uh, 
to describe this data, we just uh, uh, solve Schrodinger equation, and this is the potential in this uh, equation, and it has uh, it's a sum of two parts. Uh, this is a Coulomb-like uh, potential, which uh, is uh, somehow important at small uh, distances, and it corresponds to asymptotic uh, freedom uh, when uh, there are exchanges only by single uh, gluons, so actually it corresponds to one gluon exchange. Uh, and uh, the other uh, part is confining potential, which is linearly rising with uh, R, so uh, this is the uh, total potential. Uh, when the two probes are uh, pulled apart, uh, the field, one field's uh, form a uh, tube, and uh, the tension of this tube is constant, so this is sigma which enters the uh, potential. So you have linear rise of potential. And when the tube becomes big enough, with high enough energy, then a new uh, uh, is uh, produced. Basically, there are different uh, parameterizations in addition to this one, uh, but it appears that in the range of uh, uh, R, of radius, where the wave functions of uh, Parconia are localized, uh, all these potentials look uh, quite uh, similar. Uh, so there are many uh, models which differ by the potential and also by kinetic term uh, and also by relativistic corrections. So uh, here uh, the size of the square uh, corresponds to spread of uh, different models and the dots correspond to experimental data, so quite a good uh, agreement. And uh, group models predict not only mass but uh, also decay properties in particular annihilation winds and uh, uh, also radiative transitions between uh, Germania. So quite a good uh, description of so many states. And uh, now uh, X suggests 72 observed in uh, BDKs in the channel J side by plus by minus. In the same channel there is uh, Psi 2S, so this is Psi 2S known and this small peak is the first observation of X3872 and uh, soon it was confirmed by CDF uh, B0A and recently also by LHCB, so quite a convincing peak. Uh, well, sometimes this observation is also called revolution, uh, 2003 revolution. Why? What is special about this state? So, the mass is about the debug threshold and it is very narrow. So, this is, uh, there are some similarity with J side. So, it's very narrow and probably it should be something new. Now, uh, this gives the mass, distribution of mass for pi plus pi minus in this decay and it is very well described by rho. So actually this pi plus pi minus pi is produced via rho. But rho has as a spin 1. And it means that uh, this decay is actually as a spin violating, and this is not uh, typical, very untypical for uh, Charmonia. Uh, so uh, later the transitions from x to j psi omega and x to j psi gamma were observed. The transition to J psi omega has similar branch refraction to J psi rho. But uh, J psi omega is as a spin conserving decay. So this means that this decay, as a spin violating decay, is not, is not uh, suppressed. Uh, also, the radiative decay, the branch refraction of radiative decay, appeared to be smaller than uh, the decay to J psi rho. It's 0.2. Well, for Charmonium, the expectation is 20, so uh, the difference is two orders of uh, magnitude. And uh, it's uh, quite uh, difficult to uh, address, to, to solve this problem uh, in terms in the, in, inside the Charmonium picture, using uh, just uh, two uh, anti-Charmonium bound states, trying to describe 
x as a charm and a charm of both sides. Uh, and uh, finally, the mass appears to be very close to d star 0, d0 threshold. The mass difference is consistent with 0 with quite good accuracy. So this is a little bit uh, suggestive that uh, this could be a bound state of d star 0 and d0. Uh, So we are not able to describe X as charmonium state and we use some exotic uh, pictures. So here we consider multi-core states, one of them called tetra-core, the other is molecule. Both contain four quarks. What is the difference? Tetra-core, uh, the two quarks are st uh, strongly bound and two anti-quarks. So it's d-quark, anti-quark uh, state, and actually it's a uh, quite compact state. So all of them are very compact. Uh, I mean, all these four quarks are quite compact. Uh, in this case, we have one meson, another meson, and they form very loosely bound states. So distribution of the quarks is uh, different. So internal structure of these two states is different. So, Tetra -quark, is able, uh, tetra quark model is able to describe properties of X and in addition it makes predictions that there should be charged uh, partners of X and uh, there should be also actually not one neutral state but two states uh, separated by, by A taming B and one of them should be produced in B plus B case to so B plus to X K plus Second, in B0 decays, B0 x k0. Uh, These uh, predictions were tested experimentally, and uh, actually this channel was uh, checked. No charged partner was found. And also uh, the uh, search for neutral partner was performed, and uh, actually uh, no second neutral resonance was found. So uh, the hypothesis of tetra -quark is not supported by experimental data. So uh, let's uh, consider uh, molecular uh, hypothesis. Uh, so the mass is very close to the uh, threshold. And uh, in this model, uh, x is a weakly bound s weight d star 0, d0 bar system. Uh, clearly, spin parity of this system should be 1 plus, because spin of d star is 1, uh, spin of d0 is 0, so it should be 1 plus. Uh, to uh, how uh, the large as spin violation is explained in molecular picture? Actually, uh, the, there is a large as spin violation at uh, the threshold of d uh, star 0, d0. Because the uh, mass of d0 uh, and d minus are, masses are different. So the sum of masses of d star plus and d minus is 8 MeV higher than the sum of masses of d star 0, d0. Uh, this is just uh, because uh, the mass difference of U and D core and also corrections due to uh, electrostatic interactions act in, in the same direction. So in case of B quarks, they act in different directions. So at, in B quarks, B0 and B plus have the same mass, while B0 and B plus have different masses. So the system is close to one threshold. Uh, and so the distance to one threshold is uh, much different from the distance to the other threshold. And actually this fact uh, produces in the model uh, as a spin violation. Now, uh, in CDF, X is produced in weakly bar collisions at very large energy. So such a weakly bound system, which uh, is very big size, it's difficult uh, for this system to form at high energy collisions. Uh, and uh, to, so this problem is solved by adding admixture of normal uh, charmonium into X. So X is both uh, partly molecule, partly bo normal charmonium. So wave function of X has, has both contributions, charmonium and uh, molecule. 
and the molecular uh, picture, the molecular model uh, predict uh, that uh, there should be decay to D star zero, D zero bar. And uh, the shape of the signal in uh, this mode uh, should be different uh, compared to GSI pi plus uh, pi minus. Uh, so red lines give the shape uh, for the D star zero, D zero. Uh, and uh, we have also here uh, two possibilities. Uh, uh, bound state, just normal uh, bound state, and virtual state, uh, where the, uh, the potential is not uh, deep enough to form bound state, but still you have a bound in the amplitude uh, or decay rate. Uh, so, uh, indeed, uh, this uh, decay was found experimentally both by Baba and uh, Well. And uh, indeed, uh, the mass in this uh, channel uh, was uh, shifted compared to GSI mass, and also the this uh, appeared to be uh, larger in accordance with uh, molecular picture. So this was quite uh, uh, okay confirmed. Uh, also, this uh, decay uh, channel appears to be uh, dominant, so it's about 10, 10 times larger than uh, GSI rho. Uh, so, to understand uh, whether the state is bound or virtual and uh, what is the size of uh, normal charmonium admixture, uh, okay, we have to take KIC1 to match quantum numbers. Quantum numbers are 1 plus. Uh, so, uh, one has to simultaneously analyze the side pi pi and uh, DD star uh, data. Uh, so, this was done by several theoretical groups. And uh, I will take uh, actually results more or less. Uh, results agree in general. So I take one of the results, uh, analyzing well data, the conclusion that the state is bound and that the admixture is typical of 30%. Uh, if uh, one analyzes Babat data, the conclusions are actually almost reversed. And uh, I would like to remind actually uh, the difference between the and Babao data is just this uh, two sigma difference in the peak position uh, for this uh, DD star uh, final state. So basically, uh, two sigma experimental difference uh, reverses uh, conclusions about the structure of X. Uh, so this actually means that pre present experimental statistics is insufficient to uh, constrain uh, the theory. Uh, uh, CDF and Bell performed angular analysis and actually all quantum numbers except 1 plus plus and 2 minus plus are excluded. Uh, 1 plus plus is, are the quantum numbers that you need for molecular um, model. So this is very good. Uh, unfortunately, uh, okay, this, uh, this is the fit result for one-dimensional angular distribution. So I do not define the angles, whatever they are. So this is for 2 minus plus, and this is for 1 plus plus. And they look quite similar. These black bars give typical size of experimental uncertainty. So with such error, you, of course, cannot uh, discriminate uh, these uh, distributions. But they are not uh, the same. They are different. So with higher statistics, it will be possible to actually uh, discriminate and determine uh, quantum uh, numbers of x. Uh, so it is uh, quite interesting what is the nature of binding force because actually both molecules are neutral, they are colorless. So uh, this could be one uh, point exchange which generates uh, so-called Yukawa potential, this exponential, and uh, it's uh, analogous to binding of uh, nucleus in uh, nuclei. Uh, so the D and uh, D star can be glued, binded together by pi exchange. There could be another uh, uh, mechanism. Actually, uh, D and D star uh, from time to time become uh, charmonium, and then they become again D D star. So this is a system which goes to charmonium and back to molecule. And uh, even if at uh, this stage, uh, there is no binding, no interaction. 
uh, between D and D star, uh, these transitions will generate effective potential. So uh, this approach uh, uh, often called uh, coupled uh, channel resonances. So it's quite interesting what what what, what, it, what will appear to, uh, to be the binding mechanism for X. Uh, from experimental point of view, of course, it's uh, necessary to improve line shape measurements in uh, D star D zero, but uh, this uh, final state contains low energy by zero and photon, so it's difficult for HCB and most likely only super defectors will uh, be able to uh, give new results here. But angular analysis can be performed at uh, LHCB, so to discriminate uh, this. And of course, uh, there are new uh, channels uh, which can be uh, studied to better understand the uh, structure of X. Uh, now, uh, I would like to move to the next uh, subject. 1 minus minus family, and you know that to study uh, this such resonances, you need to scan energy. At Bell, we didn't scan energy. So what is the solution to this problem? Uh, the solution to this problem is called initial state uh, radiation. So when the plus and minus collide, sometimes one of the particles emits high energy gamma. And as a result, the center of mass uh, energy becomes smaller. And actually, you can, using this process, you can scan all the energy from your, from your highest energy when you take data down to zero. Actually, uh, of course, you have uh, suppression due to emission of photon, but uh, if statistics is high, so you can get competi competitive uh, results. Uh, with dedicated machines that do uh, scan. scan. So, uh, well, and uh, Baba studied the cross section uh, of such process, G psi pi plus pi minus and uh, psi prime pi plus pi minus. Psi prime is the same as uh, psi 2s. Actually, Baba was the first to report a resonance in uh, this uh, in this process, so this is uh, G psi pi plus pi minus, and another resonance in psi 2x pi plus pi minus. Uh, well, found used more data and found additional resonance and also additional resonance here. So this one resonance is quite uh, famous and it is called y4260. Y4260. So uh, they are above open flavor threshold. So they should decay to open charm <coughs> heavens. Uh, now uh, this is the cross section of uh, E plus C minus to heavens. Actually, uh, here we, use, we represent it as an R ratio. So we normalize it to uh, E plus C minus to E plus B minus a cross section taken at the three levels just to cancel the dependence upon energy. So uh, blue dots is a cross section, uh, black lines are known Fermonian levels, so they pass through the peaks, red lines are these uh, new peaks. In particular, this is Y4260. Uh, so there are no peaks corresponding to this GSI uh, pi pi or psi 2s pi pi resonances. Uh, this means that their partial width to E plus E minus is small. Uh, and uh, since uh, they we still see them in J cycle plus E minus, it means that their branching fraction uh, to psi pi pi is very big. So here psi denotes uh, both J psi and uh, psi to S. So numerical estimations uh, show that uh, partial width of y4260 to j psi pi plus pi minus is about uh, half a mv. And uh, this is uh, a very big value uh, in compared to other properties. Uh, uh, the mass of uh, this uh, uh, peak Peak position uh, is more or less in the region of uh, hybrids. So here we need another example of uh, exotic uh, states. 
this is the state uh, with uh, one uh, gluon uh, degree of freedom excited. So uh, you have two valence probes and also excited uh, gluon. Uh, the prediction for hybrid is that they do not decay to DD bar, do not decay to D star D bar, and only to P wave uh, D double star. So final state to search uh, is uh, this one. And well, actually, uh, searched for the peaks in uh, this final state, but didn't find any uh, significant structures corresponding to Y4260 or to other states. Uh, another possibility, uh, another interpretation for Y states is hydrochamomium. Okay, since uh, hybrid failed, we have to think about something different. So one of the favorite uh, explanations is hydrochamomium. Uh, the picture of this uh, is the following. So we have compact uh, CC bar. Uh, which is surrounded by cloud of light colors, for example, uh, pi plus pi minus. So, of course, such state can easily decay to uh, charmonium and uh, pi plus pi minus. Uh, but uh, this model, as far as I know, uh, doesn't give uh, strong predictions, so it's difficult to test uh, this model. Okay, actually, uh, Bell uh, studied not only uh, this uh, final state, but uh, also other open flavor final states. And uh, uh, I would like to show, uh, uh, to show this result. So uh, this is the total hydronic cross-section. And uh, here in red, the contribution from uh, DD bar, uh, then uh, contribution of DD star, uh, and here the two contributions are added. So uh, the lowest peak uh, is uh, saturated basically by uh, DD bar contribution. So we add uh, D star, D star, and actually all this uh, lower region is already saturated by these channels. Then come uh, three uh, body final states, uh, barrier final states, and uh, D sub S final states. So, Basically, now we, after the measurements, we know uh, how this uh, uh, cross section uh, is uh, added from uh, exclusive channels. So, what is the contribution of exclusive channels? And this is important not only to search for Y states, but also to understand better conventional charmonium states. Uh, now, I would like to uh, uh, discuss the uh, last part of uh, my talk, uh, charged resonances with uh, BB bar uh, pairs. Uh, so uh, we find uh, actually two such resonances in the case of epsilon 5s with emission of single pion, and then each of them decays into five, uh, five final states. So this has BB bar pair, this one is charged, so it should be multi-core uh, combination. Okay, and uh, actually HB states were observed in uh, this particular process. So first I will talk about uh, epsilon 5s, then about HB, and finally about uh, ZD states. Uh, uh, here on this figure you see how the luminosity at the factor is changed with time. Uh, this corresponds to well, this corresponds to Bamar. Most of data were taken at Epsilon 4s, but also quite some data at Epsilon 5s. Why? So this is a cross section as a function of energy, big narrow epsilon uh, three three epsilon states then the threshold, uh, open beauty threshold, and next resonance is epsilon 4s. So uh, it, uh, in 100% of cases, is the case to DB bar, so most suitable place for B factors. If we go further in energy, because the threshold of B sub S production, next resonance is epsilon 5s, so well to data here to study B sub S measles. So, we studied rare the case of this other mesons, but it appears that uh, this point of uh, this energy point by itself is quite uh, interesting. 
uh, both find, uh, found um, anomalous in large production of epsilon pi pi. Uh, so of these uh, decays, uh, this is uh, the partial bits between half MV and even higher one MV. Uh, for comparison, these are partial bits for transitions from 2s to 1s, 3s to 1s, 4s to 1s. So all of them are comparable and at least the two orders of magnitude uh, smaller. So we see that epsilon 5 s somehow likes to decay to uh, lower Chiharmonia with the emission of two piles, to epsilon 1 s, 2 s, and 3 s. And this is just very similar effect to what we discussed a few minutes ago in uh, Chiharmonia about Y4260, which uh, likes to decay to GSI uh, pi plus uh, pi minus. So actually, uh, we assume that uh, there is some analog of Y4260 in the BB bar sector, which we call YB, and it is close to epsilon 5s. So there is a new particle YB, which is close to epsilon 5s, and it's YB who is responsible for this uh, high transition rates. And uh, to verify this hypothesis, Bell really took scanned data. So this was not uh, ISR uh, scan, but really uh, scanned data. So there were uh, several points. And uh, indeed, so this measurement gives the cross-section of uh, the hadrons as a function of energy. So just production of hadrons. While this, there are three colors, epsilon pi pi, epsilon 1s, pi pi, epsilon 2s, and uh, 3s. And uh, indeed, we see that peak here uh, corresponds to somewhere like uh, one, uh, okay, just half peak, uh, peak height uh, in this case. Uh, so, and also this state is narrow. So, it, it look, they look uh, different. Uh, however, because the uncertainty is not very good here, and we can claim that uh, the two peaks are different only at two sigma levels. Actually, we both took more data and uh, they being analyzed, so maybe we will be able to say more about this. Now, HB1 and 2 p Actually, uh, we had a hint from uh, Charmonium sector where to search for HB. So, Clio observed production of HC uh, at the energy above uh, open flavors we show. Uh, so, basically, this is the dependence of the cross section of HC as uh, energy, and uh, HC by plus by minus is similar to GSI by plus by minus. For, um, and maybe even summarize at the energy of Y4260. So basically, this point corresponds to the signal of Y4260 as was as obtained by clear experiment after refactoring. So uh, if you remember that epsilon uh, 5 was has similarity to Y4260, it's of course natural to search for HB by plus pi minus and epsilon 5 s. Just a reminder: what is HB? It's uh, this state, and this state is spin 0, L equal to 1, and actually it should be uh, close to the center of gravity of KB states. Mm -hmm. So the corresponding states is S equal to 1, and uh, the mass difference is called uh, hyperfine uh, splitting, uh, so it uh, allows to test uh, the interaction. And this hyperfine splitting in the uh, charm sector is measured to be zero with good precision, and for this sector it is, it is expected to be small. So these states are not yet observed, but their masses are already actually known, and there was some small uh, hint, small evidence from uh, Baba. Uh, we are going to search for these transitions, pi uh, plus pi minus transitions from this state, this is epsilon phi s to HB1P and HB2P. <coughs> Uh, HB decays to three blocks, which means to many, uh, to final states with many particles. So no good exclusive final states. So um, basically, we use uh, minimized technique to reconstruct uh, this uh, decays. Uh, we know the full momentum of epsilon 5s, uh, 
it's given by the energy of the accelerator and we measure the full momentum of pi plus pi minus. So the difference gives the full momentum of HB, so we can calculate the mass of HB. And uh, it is called missing mass of pi plus uh, pi minus. We plot the distribution of missing masses and the vertical lines are expected places of epsilon and HB states and you can barely see anything here but notice that the number of events is 10 to the 6 in every one in EVB which means that uh, the accuracy is 10 to the minus 3 relative accuracy and any deviation from smooth behavior uh, will be significant so we fit this to a higher order polynomial uh, and subtract it and as a result we see uh, quite many peaks some of them are known these are epsilon states, there are some peaking backgrounds and uh, these are two new uh, peaks corresponding to HB uh, so previously epsilon peaks, uh, these three uh, were reconstructed using mu plus mu minus uh, which gives better, better sensitivity uh, the hyperfine splitting was found to be consistent with zero so indeed the masses of HB are where we expect them and uh, we measured also the ratio of production rates of HB relative to Epsilon uh, so we take uh, HB relative to this Epsilon 2S, uh, the largest uh, signal and uh, this ratio is, appears to be uh, close to 1 and this is quite surprising actually in HB the spin, the spin of clocks is 0 while in Epsilon it is 1 uh, so this transition involves a spin flip of heavy clock uh, while this transition doesn't involve spin flip usually transitions with spin flip are suppressed so we do not see suppression due to spin flip of heavy clock and this uh, somehow gives us an idea that maybe some exotic processes are involved uh, here. So we study resonant structure of this decay. So we study whether this is really three-body decay or whether there are some intermediate resonances in this decay. Uh, so we, uh, this is just uh, Monte Carlo, mass of Hb pi plus related uh, to mass of Hb pi minus, and phase space Monte Carlo is just one. So we divide it uh, into two halves and this part we project on this axis and this part is projected on this axis and uh, the, the events are added and this is basically what we find we find that uh, the events are concentrated in quite a narrow uh, region uh, so basically phase space goes like this so there can be events everywhere but uh, they are concentrated at narrow region and actually it means that uh, this uh, decay proceeds through intermediate uh, resonance and we see two peaks uh, so there is a hint that there are actually two structures, two resonances and we call them 1061, 1065 we fit this distribution and we find the masses and it appears that the lower one is close to BB star threshold and the high one is close to B star, B star threshold. Later, using angular analysis, we find that the quantum numbers are the same, it's one plus. Uh, so we fit to the coherent sum of Proetina amplitudes and we find that the angle uh, between the amplitudes is 180 mv. This was HB1p and we repeat the analysis for HB2p and if, uh, so here the phase space is much smaller so this is already middle of phase space but we find uh, that there are no events here so qualitatively uh, the picture is uh, consistent okay and also quantitatively the, uh, the parameters are quite consistent so now we look also at resonance structure of uh, y plus pi minus final state uh, so, of course, we reconstruct epsilon using the plus mu minus, and this gives actually uh, extremely clear. So, I will not discuss what is here. Okay, actually, here is missing mass of pi plus pi minus, 
and here the mass of mu plus mu minus. And signal events should uh, have the two masses equal, so they should be on uh, diagonal. So we select this, and uh, basically we plot uh, Dalit's uh, plot, uh, we make Dalit's plots for three, uh, for three decades. And uh, actually Dalit's plot is of this size, and we fold it two times just to actually they, they should be symmetric uh, because of charge uh, conjugation uh, symmetry. So in each case we see some hints of uh, bands, especially here we see in, in this case, but also here. And uh, when we make projection on the vertical axis, we see uh, we see two peaks in each case, so we see signals of the same resonance, 1061, 1065. And uh, we perform Dalis plot analysis, amplitude analysis. Uh, okay, maybe better here it is better. So this is the projection on one axis, uh, and this is a projection on pi plus pi minus uh, axis, so mass of pi plus pi minus. Uh, quite good description. And uh, we average the mass and width for five channels, and we plot here deviations from this average. This is for mass, for beads, and this is the same for the other resonances, and these are five, five channels, so you see that the parameters agree uh, very well. Uh, and uh, actually, so the numbers are given in the table. Uh, uh, we give here also relative normalization, and it is close to one. Indeed, the normalization of most peaks is always, is always similar, and uh, we find that for Slide uh, pi pi for epsilon pi pi final state the relative phase is consistent with zero, while for H B it is consistent with uh, 180 Maybe you is you, uh, uh, you can think that I am cheating because actually this figure looks completely different from this figure. Uh, here the peaks are narrower and here they are both are separated. But uh, the reason is that this uh, interfering amplitude, and here the aim within amplitude is zero, so here the interference is destructive, while at the sides it is constructive. And here it is completely different, so the resonance uh, tails are cancelled here, while uh, this uh, the enhanced uh, between the resonances. So we really see that uh, the amplitude, uh, the, the phase, uh, this is not just bump in the mass distribution, the phase uh, changes as it should be for uh, resonance. And uh, there is a uh, model uh, that uh, these two resonances are molecules of BB star and B star B star, and actually this models, the model successfully describes a major uh, properties uh, of uh, the states. Okay, actually, uh, this is the complete table of new resonances, and we briefly mentioned only those which are underlying right. So you see that there are more, much more states. I think I selected the most interesting. Uh, actually, uh, there are also charged states in charmonium sector. They are produced in BDK called Z, and uh, there are three of them, uh, one decays to pi plus psi to s, and there are two decaying to pi plus chi c1. But they are very broad, their width is between 100 and 200 mm. So it's difficult to prove that these are actual resonances. So, okay, and uh, to conclude, uh, model provides good description of Quarkonium below, uh, open famous threshold, but above the threshold, we somehow enter a new regime where light degrees of freedom become important, and we need new kinds of patterns like molecules, other charmonium, and uh, maybe something else. And this conclusion based on observation uh, at uh, B uh, factories. Uh, so well established uh, new type of elementary particles and up to now we knew uh, that uh, protons and nucleons can form bound states, uh, neutron and uh, nuclei. And now we know that also D mesons and B mesons 
uh, can form a bound state. So we have now a new branch uh, that we can call meson chemistry because it is about molecules. Okay. Thank you for this uh, very uh, clear overview of the situation. So, questions? Wait, wait. <laughs> please. Uh, could you explain, please, uh, what is the uh, open flavor states? <clears throat> open flavor states, uh, okay. Uh, in Chamonix, we have, uh, for example, C, C bar. So, uh, chant quark and chant anti quark. So open flavor when we have C U bar. So uh, in this case it's D mesin. Uh, its flavor uh, is okay. Uh, uh, so uh, it has the flavor of C four. So in uh, Chamonium uh, there is C and C bar and somehow uh, they uh, it has no flavor because anti clock uh, and clock uh, can different. Yes, please. So you said uh, that uh, from the from the distribution of missing mass from Papad command, uh, you fit it with some polynomial shape, and then uh, in the difference of data and polynomial, you source many uh, This was uh, what I said was a little bit simplified. Actually, inside the fit, we added smooth polynomial and uh, all the signals uh, that we uh, expected. Actually, uh, the, uh, we first fit with polynomial only. At some point, we see that uh, polynomial doesn't describe. There is some characteristic uh, uh, deviation, and at this point, we add signal. And then we try to understand what is this. Either it's uh, some new state or some reflection or... Uh, yeah, oh, okay. So, but uh, my question is how the model, how the model or the order of polynomial is, uh, is, is reflected in, the, in our statistics. Uh, is reflected in. Uh, so, uh, what is the systematic from the order of the. If you will take another polynomial. Yes. Uh, actually, we studied uh, this question, and I think the polynomial order was increased by one, then increased by two, and then I think it was also decreased, and all deviations were included in systematic method. So, this was carefully uh, studied. Yes, please. Not you, not you yet. <laughs> Ladies first. What will be changed if there is initial state variation pattern in the DK channel? Uh, so, uh, the, you mean, uh, okay, the energy of colliding beam will be smaller. So, uh, when uh, we have the colliding energy around 10.6 uh, uh, and we have a uh, hard uh, initial state radiation, the uh, energy of uh, colliding beams can be as low as 3 GB or 1 GB, so whatever, the whole range from 0 to 10. Four questions. Then we allow senior people. I have a very simple question. You mentioned similarities between Y4260 and the Epsilon 5 s Lower polynomial space and by the two points. Yeah. But uh, can you comment on this similarity? The uh, epsilon 5s produces quite a bit of BB star power For Y4260, there are bounds on any states with open charm. So it doesn't go. Is it correct? Uh, <coughs> Actually, here the idea is that uh, there is uh, normal, epsilon 5s normal, I mean conventional uh, quarkonium, bottom of it. And uh, close to it, uh, there is uh, YB. So, epsilon 5s is responsible for BP bar, for open beauty production, and this YB is responsible for epsilon pi pi, HB pi pi, and... 
Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I mean everything, every kind of. Uh, what, what, what's the evidence for, the, for the existence of two states? Uh, it's uh, only two sigma uh, difference in shape uh, that I mentioned between uh, hadronic cross section and uh, cross section of epsilon pi pi. Epsilon pi pi is, seems to be slightly shifted and also a little bit narrow. As I said, uh, Bell is analyzing a few times more scan data, so we will have the results. But uh, yes, uh, it uh, doesn't look very somehow systematic. <laughs> uh, the chairman did uh, allow us to make comments. Uh, 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 ten seconds. Ten, ten second comment. No, 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 no. I, yeah. uh, I, I think it was not quite fair to say that we have the Quarkonian picture for this is not prediction. The prediction is very simple, actually, that uh, the decays uh, to, uh, to keep channels with any channels with open flavor should be relatively suppressed. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, uh, yeah. You you will have two hours of lectures for this. <laughs> I'll I'll borrow with one minute. Of this, so no. <laughs> more questions. More questions. If not, thank uh, Robert. Okay. Okay.